Okay, we're gonna try to draw an arch bridge. So the first thing you use segments most of the time. So you wanna draw the base about three units and then I'll pick another base three units. Then we're gonna use the arch. We have three points in the arch. One, somewhere in the middle, and two. And you can also change this uh, setting to the way you want to uh, do it. So let's keep it halfway here. Okay. Then you're using the segments again to connect the top of the bridge. Okay. And then if you want to, you can close it. Your choice. It looks a little bit more presentable. Uh, next, we need two triangles congruent. So I'm just gonna pick. Um, I'm gonna pick to draw two congruent triangles using the segments again, and then I can go same here. The next, you want to draw or trace those two triangles as we click on the polygon. And we're going to click all three points. And you're going to trace the triangle and then we're going to do the same on the other side. Okay. Again, you can always fix the points so the way it can look, uh, you know, more presentable. Next, you want to trace the angles. We're going to click on the angle, and again, we're going to go one, two, three. This number two is always your angle. One, two, three, and then again, one, two, three. I'm going to do the same in the other triangle. One, two, three, one, two. Three, one, two, three. So we want to make sure these angles are the same as this one, which is good in this case. Now we're going to measure the length of each side. You click on the segment and move a little bit. Okay. So you click on the segment and then press label and it'll measure automatically. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay. Finally, if I don't want those points to move and just kind of messed up the picture, I can highlight everything and press lock three points. That's how they're not going to move right now. Okay. And finally, if you want to put something on the top to look more like a solid bridge, you can use again polygon and we draw a rectangle. There you go. Now it looks like more bridge and then of course if you want you can click on those polygons and you highlight it. Gray, I can put this to on um, gray or I can leave it blue by default. Okay. And then finally, we want to measure how long is the bridge. So I can click again on the top side of the rectangle, click label, so I know it's 15 units. And I can measure again, click on a segment, so I can measure how long is the bridge, how high. And I click again on the label, so I'll measure the the height. So the length is 15 and the height is 4. And I can color this in red so it can be more visible. And you can do the same in the triangles. You can color in red. So now all your points in the project have been completed.